What's up everybody, Travis here, and welcome back to the Red Keep official YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my custom symbol from Legato Symbols. So if you guys are a metal drummer or in the metal community or listen to metal music, you all know how important it is to have a good sounding china in your setup. Now, I'm not saying you have to have a china in your setup to be in a metal band or an aggressive rock band or anything like that, but for the music that I play and the music that I like to listen to, China is kind of important. So over the years, I've played a ton of cymbals and I've been really able to, I guess you could say, hone in on my cymbal sound and really, you know, hone in on my China specifically. You know, the China cymbal to me has always been my favorite cymbal to have. And I don't know, I remember, you know, listening to other bands like August Burns Red, you know, Attack Attack, Del Rispada, and always hearing that and being like, I want that sound. So, you know, every time I design my cymbal setup, I always kind of revolve it around a china. I remember going to Guitar Center and having a picture of Matt Griner set, and I said, I want that cymbal, because I knew he hit that one, and that's what it made the sound. And they're like, oh yeah, you want the Oriental China from Zildjian. And I'm like, sure, I don't know what that is, but let me see it. And it was exactly what it was. It was a china, and I was like, that's sick, I want that. So with that being the case, you know, I'd go through a ton of chinas, I'd break them all the time, just because no one hits a china, you know, soft, right? You know, I'd go home, I'd play the hell out of that thing. I still have that China somewhere around there. And it just really helped, you know, I guess helped me kind of figure out what I wanted my cymbals to sound like. So anytime I build my cymbal setup, China is what I build it around. I know that's kind of crazy to do because it's an accent cymbal, but yeah, why not? So when I had partnered up with Legato Cymbals, I had in mind, you know, a couple of Chinas that I wanted to kind of put together and make my own. So when I went to Carlos, I was like, hey man, I want to combine you know, these features with this and with that, and I want it to be like this. And he's like, all right, I got you. And he sure did. So let's jump into a couple of those features. First of all, I want to kick it off by saying that this is a 20 inch Royalty China. The Royalty line in Legato is the bright series that they have. It's the Brilliant Finish series, and it's just, they all sound like butter. They're so good and they're so crisp. I really, really love that about this line but I wanted to take it up another notch because I like dark symbols as well. So I wanted to have a bright, dark symbol. I know that's kind of a contradiction, but I knew that if anyone's gonna be able to do it, it's gonna be Legato. When we started designing it, I was like, I really wanna have a wider lip on the china. And the reason why I wanted a wider lip on the china is because it gives you a little bit more surface area. I don't have to really worry about hitting the bow too often, and it just makes it really easy to hit and know that I'm not gonna break it as easy as I would if it wasn't as wide. Um, that's just my opinion, and that's just something that I have found you know works for me. Doesn't mean it has to work for you, but maybe it might help you guys out. So if you're breaking a lot of chinas, that might be something you wanna look into is getting a wider lip. But being that it is a brilliant symbol, and being that it's a big symbol, you know, we knew that it was gonna be very loud and very bright and very aggressive. So to give it that darkness, we brought in a raw bell with these air holes in the china. Now, what those do in the combination of each other is that's what really brings down the decay and brings down the pitch and tone of the cymbal. Uh, having these air holes really allows it to get in and get out and having the raw bell is what really draws it down and really makes it a little bit darker. You don't see many you know, brilliant chinas with a raw bell. I love that. So you know that was some of the things that I had no idea would do that until I talked to Carlos and he is a cymbal Yoda. I'm not kidding guys. Like, if you need to know like what certain symbols sound like or what to make a symbol sound like a certain way, Carlos at Legato is your man, let me tell you. But, you know, it really kind of made the best of both worlds for me and that's what I really love this China. I still don't know what to call it though. So, down in the comments below, let me know what we should call this thing because I want a really cool name. I don't know what the name should be, but let's figure it out. So enough of me talking about what this China sounds like and what it should sound like and let's hear it. And there you have it guys, that is my custom china from Legato Symbols. I really hope you dig it. You know, if you guys like what it sounds like and you guys want this china, definitely hit up Carlos at Legato. 
they'll be able to take care of you and get this china in your hands in no time. Definitely hit up Legato. They are seriously the best nimble company in the world, and I'm super proud to be a part of that family. And thank you, Carlos, for having me, man, and thank you for dealing with all my crazy ideas and everything else. I appreciate you, and I appreciate every single person that has stuck around and watched this entire video. So thank you all for being amazing. Go down there. Let me know what you guys want to call this thing. Give us a like. Give it a subscribe. And we'll see you guys all next week. Later. Am I the one that's changing?